I'm using simple everyday materials to make miniature bee skeps for my goose egg dollhouse, but you could make these for other reasons as well. The dollhouse is made from a real goose egg and sits at the top of a resin tree. The bee skeps will hang under the wood slice stairs. Bee skeps are woven baskets honeybees can make honeycomb inside. I tightly crumpled up some aluminum foil to create the shape of the three skeps I'm making. I'll be hanging my honeybee baskets under the resin tree using some eye pins. You could also bend some wire into a shape like this to make your own. I pre-poked a hole with a straight pin and used some super glue to attach the eye pin. I want all three of my baskets to look like they're made of straw. For the first one, I'm using a strand of this burlap. Since I lack the patience to do any real weaving, I tacked down my piece of thread using some hot glue. I'm faking the look of a woven basket by twirling the piece of thread around the aluminum foil and tacking it down with hot glue as I go. Some of you may remember I planned to do a veggie garden in the yard of the goose egg dollhouse, but I'm changing directions and doing a beekeeping theme instead. I really like the added interest from using different materials, so for the second one I'm just using some plain white cotton thread. Switching up the materials not only gives you a variety of looks, but if you end up not liking one, at least you don't have three of them. I already made a light and medium shade basket, so I made a third darker basket using a single strand from a jute rope. I need to make little holes in these where the bees can enter. To make a circle door, I coated each of the three materials I used in glue and wrapped them around a round metal tool. The dry glue makes the thread nice and stiff so it'll hold its rounded shape. I considered making real holes, but I didn't want to damage my little baskets, so I'm taking the easy route and adding some fake holes using Sharpie. I attached the little thread pieces using some white glue because it disappears and dries clear. During the process of making these, I found out they're illegal to use in the United States and many other countries since beekeepers can't easily inspect their hive for mites and diseases. For that reason, bee skeps are often just decorative pieces, so I'm making mine decorative as well. I'm using a really thin marker to make a stylized flying pattern you'd often see in a children's book or something to indicate a bug or a bumblebee is flying past. I traced a cute little flying path on all three of the bee skeps. Luckily for me, the first idea I had for making tiny bees worked out really well. I'm using a precision tip bottle to squeeze wood glue onto trash plastic. If you don't have one of these little bottles, you can just make a tiny dab of glue using a toothpick. The wood glue dries a light clearish color, so I'm giving each of my little blobs a coat of yellow ochre acrylic paint. Since these bees are so teeny tiny, they really don't need a lot of detail. I'm adding two black lines to each bee and painting the excess right onto the trash plastic. I'll finish up my little bees later, but now I'm making some honey using some UV resin. My first batch of honey was too dark because I added too much of the dark orangey color of chalk pastel. I used a lot more yellow in my second attempt mixed with some of my original too dark honey. I liked the look of this dripping honey I saw in some reference images on Google. I cured this with a UV light. UV resin is toxic until it's cured, so cure it before you clean up. 
back to my little bees and they could not possibly be any cuter. I'm using some white glue to attach a bee at the end of this little flying trail I drew. I'm adding the bees so there are three visible from the front on each of my little scaps. I'm adding one more tiny detail to the bees using some trash plastic. I used a 1 8 inch punch to make a circle and cut it in half. It's pretty hard to see since it's tiny and see-through, but I cut one of the very hard edges off of the wing so it looks more natural and organic. I used some white glue to attach two wings to each of the bees. My ideas usually evolve the more I craft. I initially planned to put a veggie garden in the yard and have baskets of veggies inside of the house. Instead, I'll make some jars of honey, maybe some bits of toast with a little bit of honey spread on top, and fill the yard with flowers. I'll also make some beehive boxes for the yard and finish decorating inside of the goose egg dollhouse. You can easily turn these into earrings by connecting a jump ring to the eye pin and attaching a hook. 